direct from New Orleans to the Boggy Bayou, Chef Bernie! What's up? What's up, folks? What's up? Come on now. How's everybody doing tonight? Oh, yeah. We about to get this party started tonight, guys. And first of all, I'd like to thank some of my sponsors who are here this evening. We have Go Power, our title sponsor here, Mr. Scott Jackson. Um, one of his uh, guests with him tonight is Mr. Randy Wise from Randy Wise Homes. We're glad to have you here tonight. Uh, we also have Miss Pam Weeks and my daughter Whitney and the whole crew from the Powerhouse Realty team here in Niceville. Let's hit for Powerhouse. Yeah, you're right. Fantastic, guys. We also have uh, Willingham Seafood. We have some of the folks from Willingham Seafood here tonight. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. There's the Willingham folks back there. We're glad to have y'all here. Um, and also tonight, guys, I have a very special guest here tonight. I have Mr. Reggie Reed from The Temptations here tonight. That's right, baby. My girl. My girl. He does it better than me. But uh, we got Reggie here tonight. And also, guys, I'm very excited because tonight I'm doing a conjunction with the local Relay for Life for the American Cancer Society. And tonight, guys, I'm giving back $10 a person to the Relay myself. And thank y'all for coming out and helping me support American Cancer Society tonight, okay? Thank you very much. Without any further ado, guys, let's get this party started. Let's start cooking. Come on now. That's what we're here for, to start cooking, guys. Okay, guys, now to get started tonight, the first course that I'm going to do for you guys is my New Orleans NOLA shrimp salad, okay? Um, and the way we get that started, the neat thing about this is, guys, if you notice, I'm actually cooking with some equipment that's state-of-the-art provided for me by my friends at Gulf Power. This is actually magnetic heat induction equipment. Um, the neat thing about magnetic heat induction is that it doesn't get hot at the surface. It cooks very evenly. You know what else, guys? It's safe. You can't burn yourself, okay? So I'm going to show you about how this equipment works all through the evening, but let's get started. We're going to go ahead and kick this on, and we're going to get this started. The first thing we're going to do, guys, we're going to put a little garlic butter in this pan. Fantastic. We're going to crank this up. Then we're going to put a little bit of our shrimp in here for our salad. And then I'm going to take some of this wonderful Louisiana crab ball seasoning, okay? And we're going to put that in there so it has all the flavor of the crab ball in there, okay? And great. Now, while this is sauteing, and you're going to watch how fast this works with this magnetic heat induction, we're going to get this cranked up. While this is warming up and cooking, which won't take but a second, I'm going to go ahead and throw together my ramelade dressing, okay? And um, if you've ever had ramelade, especially here at Dockside, you're going to love it. Um, and um, we're going to put it together for you really quickly. And here's all the ingredients. There's quite a few ingredients that go in this. First, you start off with a little mayo. Like so. Next, we're going to go with a little Creole mustard. And, you know, the Creole mustard, Cajun mustard, works really well. Um, and that way, it gives it that little tang to it, baby. You got to have a little tang to it, right? Yeah, you're right. Got to kick it up a notch. Um, then we're going to put a little bit of red ketchup, basic ketchup in there, okay? And this is easy, guys. You can make this at home. Next, we got a little bit of lemon juice. Because you know why? Because you got to have a little citrus in there. You know what I'm saying? Got to have that, right? Fantastic. Uh, next up, guys, we have some of our minced garlic. I like French, fresh minced garlic, but you know what? If you have garlic powder or garlic salt at home, you can actually do that also, so that's wonderful. Um, then we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of the wonderful celery right here. Chopped celery, fantastic. Next up, some green onion chopped up, really nice. Okay, then we're going to add a little bit of fresh parsley right there. Then... We're going to do some of this, some wonderful Worcestershire. Also, it gives it a nice little kick, nice little flavor to it. And then it wouldn't be a dish if we didn't finish it off with my signature dockside hot sauce right here. <laughs> hey, can I get an eye? <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that. That's so great. Thank y'all for that. All right, we're going to add a little bit of that in there. Okay, guys, now we're just going to whisk this up. And you see, I love this because that paprika and the ketchup gives it that nice, wonderful pink color that, that's indigenous to the Louisiana New Orleans Ramelade sauce. And it's just really beautiful right there. And you know what's neat is we have this wonderful shrimp provided by us from my friend Matt Willingham, Willingham Seafood. Absolutely. <laughs> Fantastic. And you all are going to get this dish tonight once we get finished. Fantastic. There we go. Do a little flip flip there. 
All right, guys, you see how quick that heated up with that induction? Is that fantastic? And not only that, guys, you can see how it heats evenly throughout the pan. You know, it used to be uh, with gas equipment or with uh, other versions of equipment, it gets hot in like a hot spot. Well, this is great. I love it because it heats all the way evenly throughout the pan. And then watch this. This is going to be very interesting to you. Watch this. You can pick it up, put your hand on it. It doesn't even burn you. How do you like that? And it's blowing in the pan. Is that like magic or what? <laughs> Chef Ernie Houdini, baby. Aye. And that's what's great about that equipment. All right, guys, now you see how quickly that got our shrimp right where we want it to be? Fantastic. So now what we're going to do, without any further ado, we're going to take these wonderful sautéed shrimp, and we added that seasoning to them. That's what makes them NOLA style, baby. We're going to put that on there just like so. Boy, huh? doesn't that smell great, guys? Can you smell that? Man, come on now, baby. Can I get an eye? Oh, man, I love it. I love it. Okay, guys, now we got our shrimp plated up right there. Fantastic. You see, what else is neat about this equipment, too, is the minute that you release the pan from it, it turns off immediately. So you can't burn yourself. You can't hurt yourself. You can't catch a fire. It's wonderful. Okay, so we're going to just go ahead and put this down right here because we're done with that. Fantastic. Now we're going to go ahead and plate this up for you. And now, here we go. We have our salad right here. This is our New Orleans. Ramelard salad, guys. We're going to do a little dressing like that right there in the center. Oh, baby, huh? I heard somebody saying, uh, uh, uh. That's what I'm talking about right there. Fantastic. And then I'm going to finish it off with a little bit of that green onion right on top. And, guys, this is our New Orleans Ramelard shrimp salad right here. Fantastic. All right. But you know what? I'm not going to stop there. Because for the sake of television, I'm going to go ahead and do our second course for you right now also. So you see how quick we put that together? How nice is that? We'll leave that right here. But now we're going to move to our second course, guys. And the second course is going to be New Orleans barbecue shrimp. Now, has anybody ever had New Orleans barbecue shrimp here tonight? Right? And it's, it's, um, it's funny because if you've never had it before, people say barbecue, they're thinking barbecue sauce. But that's not actually how we do it. Um, it really comes from the Cajuns used to do it on the open barbecue grill. But it's actually a butter, Worcestershire, lemon, and garlic seasoning that we, we cook the shrimp in. And then we actually serve it up and you peel the shrimp. You got to get a little messy to do it now. And then, and then you dip the bread and dip the shrimp in the sauce. And it is fantastic. So let's start putting that together, folks, shall we? Just take a second. I'm going to stick that up there. And as you can see, it turns right on for us. Okay, we're going to crank that up. Okay, fantastic. Moving right along, we got some of our wonderful shrimp provided by Willingham Seafood, our friends on the bayou. Absolutely. We're keeping it real on the bayou. We're keeping it real on the bayou. All right, guys, now we're going to put some butter in here. And this dish, you know, it's definitely um, not on your diet program, but you know what? Tonight, who cares, right? Come on. Do I look like I'm on a diet? No. That's right. You're on a diet, you got to go somewhere else. Not Chef Ernie. All right, here we go. All right, first we start off with the butter. As you can see, it's really heating up really quickly for us, nice and evenly, which is fantastic. Okay, next we're going to add a little bit of virgin olive oil in there. Okay, fantastic. Um, and next up, we're going to add some Louisiana. This is actually barbecue shrimp seasoning, okay? Um, I buy this myself in large containers, but you can find this in some grocery stores. And um, this is basically everything that you would want in one little container. And we're going to add our barbecue shrimp seasoning right there. It's very highly concentrated, so you don't need a whole lot. Um, and then um, I like to actually, I like to add a little bit of water to that also. A little bit of water, okay, about like that. Um, and then we're going to add a little bit of white wine. You know why? Because we like to. <laughs> and it gives it a little kick, you know, it gives it a little nice little flavor. And it, this, this right here is essential to barbecue shrimp. This is actually some bay leaves. We're going to put these in here. It just gives it a wonderful flavor, especially like a Louisiana flavor style. And the neat thing about that is make sure that's not to be, you don't eat the bay leaves, but it's there for flavor, okay? All right. And then uh, what else do we have? We have a little bit of fresh lemon. We're going to squeeze that fresh lemon in there. We're going to crank that up a little bit. Okay, now we've got all the flavors of the barbecue shrimp in there. And the key in this is, is the citrus and the lemon. Then we've got to finish it with a little bit of our signature dockside hot sauce, right? Because we got to, baby. Aye. All right, folks. Then we, hey, y'all getting pretty good at that. Now we're going to go ahead and add some of our wonderful Worcestershire sauce right here. Kick that in there. Okay, guys. And, and it's funny because 
when, um, when I was taught to cook this dish by my, actually my dad used to love to cook this, and um, we actually prepare it in large pans. So we use all the same ingredients that I just showed you, but we do it in a large pan and we stick it in the oven. But I've developed a way here at Dockside, because we sell this as a dish here, to actually cook this to order. And so that's really what we do here with this pan right here, is basically when you order it here at Dockside, it's cooked to order. We take the fresh shrimp, we put it in a uh, pan like so, we crank it up, and then, and then it, as, it, as it cooks, it takes about five minutes to do it this way. It, when you do it in the oven, it takes about 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how many shrimp you have in it. But it's basically the same ingredients. And if you want to cook it individually to order by the pound or by the half pound, you could do it just like I'm doing it here, okay? Fantastic. And you know what? I think that deserves a little aye. Yeah, you're right. Hey, la ba over there. All right, guys, so now we're at that point right there. And, folks, the cool thing about this is, is this dish can be duplicated at home very easily. Um, it's a fantastic dish. You're going to love it. Um, I don't want you to go anywhere, folks, because we're going to be right back. We're going to take a commercial break, and all you guys are going to get to sample this food that I just cooked right here for you guys. And you know what? Don't go anywhere, baby, because I'll be right back. Aye! What up, folks? It's Chef Ernie here, and I'm here in the state-of-the-art residential heat induction kitchen. You know what I'm going to do today, guys? I'm going to put this kitchen to the test. Wow, and these touch controls are so simple and easy to operate. Man, that's pretty cool. This heat induction equipment doesn't get hot at the surface. Gosh, you can put your hand on it. Look at that. Does it burn? Crazy. How safe is that? I like what I see so far, guys. I tell you what, guys, it, look how evenly it cooks. You know, it, it's not just cooking in one spot, it's cooking evenly throughout the whole pan. Well, folks, as you can see, it definitely passed the test. And if you're as interested in heat induction equipment as I am, go to golfpower.com and got all the information and details for you, baby. I'll see you there. Aye. Hello, I'm Matt Willingham with Willingham Seafood. If you're ready for a fresh local taste of seafood, come visit our retail market on the beautiful Boggy Bow in Valparaiso, Florida. Willingham Seafood deals with an assortment of fresh gulf fish and local base shrimp. We're also in the wholesale business where we provide local seafood to our local restaurants. We're able to provide affordable costs because we have our own fleet of boats. Check us out for retail or wholesale at willinghamseafood.com. Remember, from our nets to your table, it's Willingham Seafood. What up, folks? Can I get an aye? Oh, I love that. Welcome back. Welcome back, folks, to my cooking experience. We're moving on to the main course tonight, which is one of my favorite New Orleans dishes. It's one that a lot of people have forgotten about, but it's called Bienville Pasta. And the great thing about the Bienville Pasta, it starts off with, with uh, Bienville sauce. And um, the three main components are bacon, button-nose mushroom, and some wonderful shrimp provided by my friends from Willingham Seafood. <laughs> Keeping it real on the bayou. And of course, we're gonna use our wonderful piece of magnetic heat, heat uh, cooking equipment, induction cooking equipment right here from Gulf Power, my sponsors. We're gonna crank that up right now and get it rolling, okay guys? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of our butter in there. Okay, start off with some butter. Fantastic. Now we're going to put in some wonderful onion. And everybody knows what an onion is? Onion. onion. Like my grandpa used to say, onion is a regular onion with a little Cajun on it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, guys, now we're just going to saute those onions down. And then the first thing, I'm going to add some of my little diced up fresh bacon right here, which is wonderful. And we're going to get this moving around. And like I said, guys, this is a wonderful sauce. We actually... Um, make this Bienville sauce, and we use it for pasta here at the restaurant, and we also use it to uh, bake oysters with, which is really nice. You take a fresh sucked oyster, okay, and then you take the Bienville sauce, put it over the top, little sprinkle of Parmesan cheese, bake that in the oven, it comes out like heaven, baby, because you got that smoky flavor from the bacon and the mushroom, and then the flavor of the shrimp comes through, okay? So basically now, we're just going to go ahead and move this around a little bit, sauteing these onions and bacon. That's the first part of it which is nice. Oh man, and this is wonderful. And like I said, you know, this is a classic New Orleans sauce, 
And um, it's really great because of that smoky flavor in the bacon, okay? So now that we got that bacon going and the onion going, we're going to add a little garlic, a little minced garlic in there. Got to have that garlic. Okay, now we're going to add our shrimp, our wonderful Gulf shrimp, all domestic here from Willingham Seafood here in Niceville, Florida. Yeah, you're right. Can I get an eye? That's my crew right there, baby. I love that. Don't you love that? Isn't it great? Make you feel good. All right, guys. Boy, you see, now we got this sautéing down. And as I was telling you, what's great about this heat induction equipment is, is you can see it's evenly cooking all through the pan, not just in one hot spot. And then, like I said, guys, you can't hurt yourself because you can put your hand right on it like I'm doing right now, put it right back, and it's on full blast. Is that crazy? Isn't that neat? Isn't that great, guys? You know, so many people have gotten burned. Our houses have been burned down from open flames. This is the new technology. And the neat thing is, is recently I had a chance to actually film a commercial that's going to be running during the show with the Gulf Fire folks at a new home that had just converted to an all-heat induction cooktop. And it was just so much fun to cook with that. In fact, you know, anytime you're thinking about remodeling your home or if you're doing a new restaurant like myself, I highly recommend it. Go heat induction. You'll be, you'll be glad you did, guaranteed. No doubt. Fantastic. Now, you see how nice that's cooking down right there, folks? Now, we're going to go ahead and add in our mushrooms right now. Okay. We're going to move that around just a little bit. And now, we've got all our main components in here. And now, we just got to give this just a little minute to kind of bring itself to where we want it to be. We're going to crank it up, crank it up. And you see, look, when you crank that up, look at that, man. Just happening. You can smell that, huh? Huh? What you think about that, Reggie? How am I doing over there, baby? I'm doing all right, huh? Oh, yay. La ba. Hey, over there, my brother. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You know, it's funny because my grandfather was very Cajun French, and he used to say all kind of wonderful slangs, and his favorite one was, eh, la ba, which means, hey, over there. <laughs> so that's how we do that. And as you can see, this is starting to get right where I want it to be. It's fantastic. Cooking evenly through there. Oh, Reggie, you can smell that right now, right? Ooh, baby, eh, la ba. Oh, Yeah. All right, guys, now we're getting that where we want it to be. It's starting to come together. Fantastic. The next thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to add a little bit of our heavy whipping cream. Okay? And, um, guys, um, you know, there are three different ways to reduce sauces. One of them is basically just to cook it down and reduce the sauce. The other one is called a roux. Everybody knows what a roux is. You use a, a roux. It's a... It's a flour and, um, and butter or oil mixture that used in gumbos or etouffees or different sauces. And then there's another one called a slurry. So if you ever went to culinary school, there's three ways to reduce sauces. Tonight, I'm going to do it the old school way. I'm not going to use any roux. I'm not going to use a slurry, which is cornstarch and water. I'm actually going to let this cook down and, and uh, reduce down on its own, okay? So that's what we're doing right now. And as you can see, um, what's really neat that I love about this um, new induction equipment is that, as you can see, it's cooking evenly through the pan. You know, it's not just one hot spot, so you really don't have to move it around too much. You just kind of let it do its thing, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of let it happen. And as this is starting to reduce for me right now, I'm going to move this over like so, and we're going to add some of our seasoning. I've got some wonderful little bit of garlic salt right here. Um, I've got a little bit of some cayenne pepper, because you got to do it. Now we're going to add a little fresh thyme. Just a little bit of that thyme because it's very powerful. Um, you don't want to put too much because that will overpower the dish. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of fresh parsley in here right now, which is nice. And we've got the cayenne pepper. Fantastic. And then, guys, we're going to put just a little bit of dash of lemon juice. Not too much, but the citrus with the shrimp really kicks it off, okay? So now we've got all of our components in here except two. And we're going to save the two for last, and I'm going to show you in a second. So you see how, guys, it's a very colorful dish. It's got a great aroma and flavor. I wish you could smell this at home, guys. You would really just love it so much. And it's cooking nice and evenly here in the center of the pan. I'm going to crank that up just a little bit more so we can get the reduction that we're looking for. And we're almost there. Fantastic. All right. So, Reggie, how you like that so far, Reg? Pretty good, right? Yeah, you right, baby. Aye. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You see, guys, now it's starting to reduce down. It's getting nice and thick for me. I'm really enjoying that. Now I'm going to add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And, you know, it's funny. When you, with cooking, folks, it's not always the ingredients. It's not always the recipe. But it's the process of how you cook things that makes it great. So you notice how I started off with my bacon. 
I got the bacon cooking to get that seasoning going, added the shrimp, added the onion, added the garlic. Then I waited to the end for the cheese, because you know why? If you put the cheese in too early, it's going to clump up, okay? So you want to do that last, because that's actually going to help to thicken the sauce as it reduces, okay? Just a little tip from Chef Ernie. You know, always when you're using the recipe, follow the process, because it's the process that makes it good, baby. Aye! Aye! Hey, you're right. You see, guys, now I got it right where I want it. I got that sauce nice and thick, looking good, looking good. Now we're going to take our pasta that we have, some penne pasta that we've already steamed really nicely. We're going to add that to our pasta, to our seasoning. We're going to move this around just a little bit. Perfect. Oh, man. And each and every one of you is going to get one of these dishes. I know you're going to love it. This is our main course tonight, our shrimp and bacon and mushroom pasta bienville, folks. Fantastic. Now we're just going to plate this up like this, like so. Okay. Cooked right before your eyes, guys. Fantastic. Now here we go, guys. There we go with our pasta bienville. Then I'm going to finish it off with a little green onion shallot right there in the center. And guys, this is Chef Ernest, Dockside Cafe, Pasta Bienville, baby. Can I get an aye? Oh, yeah, guys. Well, guys, don't go anywhere. We're going to be right back. Everybody here is going to get this dish. We're going to be right back. And I'll see you in a minute, baby. Aye. Folks, Chef Ernie here, and I'd like to invite you to my next cooking experience. Sponsored by my friends at Gulf Power, I'm going to be cooking with their all-new, state-of-the-art magnetic heat induction equipment, and I can't wait for you to see how it operates. So all you got to do is go to mydocksidecafe.com. That's where you get your tickets. And while you're there, folks, if you link to my Facebook page, you got a chance to win four free tickets to my next experience and be my special guest. So come on, guys. Don't wait. It's going to be too late. I'll see you there, baby. Aye. You know, folks, when I first opened up Dockside Cafe, I wanted to take the best of everything I loved about New Orleans seafood restaurants I grew up with and bring it to the Boggy Bayou. We feature fresh Gulf to table seafood here. That's right, folks. So I want you to come on out, enjoy. Go to mydocksidecafe.com for details and directions. i see you there, baby. What's up, folks? Come on, can I get an aye? Oh, yeah, folks. Welcome back. Welcome back to my cooking experience. Sponsored by my friends at Gulf Power. I'm so excited to finish this up tonight, guys, with my perfect finished dish. Um, we're going to do a little strawberry shortcake for y'all tonight, but we're going to do it a little bit different, something that's never been done before. You know what we're going to do? We're going to light it on fire, baby. So basically, the way I started this dish off is I made a wonderful yellow cake mix that we have right here, and we cut it in a little circle so it looks nice and pretty. So the dish starts off with your basic yellow cake at the bottom, which we have right here, okay? Then what we've done, and to make strawberry shortcake, it's really pr pretty simple dish. Uh, basically, we take fresh strawberries, we slice them up, and then we add sugar to them, okay? And you have to do that 24 hours in advance because if you don't do that 24 hours in advance, it doesn't give the, um, the sugars inside of the strawberries to release themselves and create a nice, wonderful, natural juice, okay? So that's what we have right here. We've actually prepped these strawberries, covered them with sugar, then put them away in the cooler for 24 hours, and when it comes out, the berries release their juices and their natural sugars, and it makes a natural um, liquid sweet goodness that has the strawberries in them, okay? So basically what I'm going to do is basically pour that right over this wonderful cake like I have with those strawberries. Doesn't that look great, guys? Okay? And now what I'm going to do is a little bit different. Um, instead of using whipped cream, okay, we're actually using some, um, some fluff. And fluff is basically a marshmallow cream. So I'm basically going to put a little bit of marshmallow cream right on top of this right here like so. Isn't that wonderful? That looks great, right? Fantastic, right? And the reason I'm going to do this is because think about this, guys. When we light this on fire, it's going to be like a little toasted marshmallow right on top of your cake, okay? And so what I've done here is I have some 151 rum, okay? And oh, yeah, everybody knows about that. Aye! 
I got a little IE out of that. But you know what I did to this 151 rum is for the last 24 hours, I've been infusing strawberries in the rum. So the rum actually has a wonderful strawberry flavor. So we're just going to pour some of this right here on top with that fresh strawberry. And then what we're going to do is we're going to light it on fire, baby. We're going to light it up. So we got our flaming strawberry shortcake. Guys, each and every one of y'all going to get one of these. It's something special tonight that I prepared for y'all. So I want y'all to sit back and relax and don't go anywhere because next is the big finish, baby. And we're going to bring it home. So can I get an IE? Oh, yeah. We'll be right back, folks. Chef Ernie here to let you know about something awesome I have for you guys. It's my first ever cookbook, and it's titled I, of course. And um, all you got to do, guys, is go to my website. Um, you can get information about it there, or you can just give us a call at 850-678-1241. The great thing about this book, guys, it's the first ever done before video cookbook. As you can see, we have QR codes, and the QR codes, you're actually scan your iPhone, and we're cooking together, guys. First ever interactive cookbook it's a lot of fun so you know what guys come by my cookbook and let's me and you get cooking baby Aye. quiet wolf productions is an award-winning video and audio production company servicing businesses and professional clients along the Gulf Coast let us develop your promotions from the floor up from getting the right ideas on paper to making sure your content gets to the right customers. Our production house not only offers competitive prices, but we bring more passion to your content than any other house. Visit QuietWolfProductions.com for more information or give us a call at 850-324-8745. Remember, the Quiet Wolf is always the one leading the pack. What up, folks? What up, baby? Welcome back to my cooking experience. This is my big finish, guys. And first of all, I want all you folks know at home that my cookbook, IE, is for sale online. So go to mydocsitecafe.com and click on it. And when it pops up, I've got a promo code that you can put in. Just simply type in Docside. And when you type in, type in Docside in the promo code, you're going to get $10 off the book for today watching the show, baby. Isn't that beautiful? And guys, I have want to thank Mr. Reggie Reed from The Temptations. For being here tonight, Miss Amy Toll from American Cancer. I'm presenting the Cancer Society with all y'all's help tonight. A check for a thousand dollars. Let's hear it, guys. Come on now. We gotta give a big IE for that. Oh yeah. And look, guys. If you want a second line with me for my next cooking experience, go to mydocsidecafe.com. I'll see you there, baby. IE. Yeah, you guys. Yeah. Come on now. That's how we do it. Let's do it, baby. New Orleans style. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Ah, Let them have it, baby. Come on now. Don't be shy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolutely. Come on now. Yeah, you right. Oh, baby. That's how we do it. Boggy by you style, baby. Ah, Oh yeah!